Now we are going to explore different designs and understand how useful the explore mode can be. Click on the Y axis on the bottom left corner of the screen to align the view. Then draw a box to select only the topmost faces of the fins. This will select all the top faces of the fins. Activate the pull tool and then select the ruler option in the right panel of the HUD. Then select the top face of the base of the heat sink. A measure of 70 mm should appear. Click the icon next to the number to set this dimension as a parameter. Then press the S key to exit the HUD. Two new icons appear on the stage navigator. The message on the left indicates that a group has been created. The icon on the right lets us access the design variations table. The design variations table shows the current value of the group that we created. Click on the second icon from the left to open the design variations generator panel. From the select parameter drop down, select the group we just created. New options for generating design variations will appear. Set the start value to 0.04 meter, the end value to 0.09 meters, and the interval to 0.01 meters. The number of cases will automatically update. Click now on Create 6 Design Variations. What this means is that we have defined 6 designs of the heatsink whose length of the fins varies in each design from 0.04 meters to 0.09 meters by intervals of 0.01 meters. Select the second design variation clicking on the number 2 and then click here to set it as current. Next, select the first design point and discard it, since the current geometry is already included as one of the design points we just created. Click on the number 1 and then click on the bin icon. The reason for creating design variations is to quickly analyze different geometries at once, having discovery automatically modify the geometry based on the selected parameter and updating the solution. Useful, isn't it? Let's now explore how the height of the fins impacts the maximum temperature of the system. Click on the drop-down menu next to the start icon in the panel and select Update All. As you can see, the geometries and results get updated one after the other and the maximum temperature is calculated and listed in the panel. We can see that as the height of the heat sink increases, the temperature reduces. This is because there is more material that absorbs the heat and more surface to release the heat into the air. Click on the Show Height chart icon. This will open a chart with information of the six design variations we created. Change the highlight option on the right to max temperature. In this way, the design points get colored and help us identify the optimal designs. In our case, the last three designs from 0.07 to 0.09 meters show the lowest temperatures. However, the height of the enclosure in which the heat sink will be located will play a role to limit the maximum size we can actually use. If the enclosure height is 0.08 meters, we need to discard the last two design points in order to have a proper fit. Remember that the metal delays when hot, so the 0.07 meters height model will be the optimal one. Then select the design corresponding to 0.07 meters and set it as the current design for our final analysis.